Patch Notes. TLDR. Patch 4.4. Up in this motherfucker. Oh, Cassidy. You overmobile, bursty, silencing, floaty purple assassin. You are in a lot of cases the best mid laner anyone could pick. You are a problem. And so you were banned. Like 99% of the time. When the going gets tough, the Cassidy gets reworked. Cassidy now disregards creep block. His Q doesn't silence anymore, but interrupts channels. Also, it's kind of like Victor's Q. It's better than his shield. Riftwalk does less damage, but at max rank you can jump every three seconds? What you talking about, Riot? My body and feelings are conflicted. Will we finally see Kassen out of ban jail? Will Redside finally get the three bans they deserve? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. Annie. She's an amazing support and she makes the bot lane too hot to handle sometimes, so she needed some tweaks. The cooldown on Q gets reduced by half on minion or champion kills. Her base damage has been lowered overall, but AP ratios got buffed in exchange. Somebody get the bug spray. Elise, bringer of arachnophobia and weird meteo sayings of when the cocoon is going to be back up. Long story short, she was just too amazing in the jungle early game. Her Q and her stun got hammered hard. Unsure if this will knock her down too many notches, but we'll keep you posted. The donger is love. The donger is life. He's got a sexy new look and VO. What? That wasn't his brain? This is madness. Swag walk is toggleable for maximum disrespect. Turret scale with AP and levels. Turret autos reduce the cooldown of laser beams instead of building CDR. He's looking fresh. And it's all for science, bitches. Kog'Maw's Q is now a line skill shot. Now you can vomit up to a thousand range and it does more damage. That's disgustingly awesome. Let's pass it off to Trico the Tussler. Trico. Thanks, Black Enola. Big Daddy Nautilus got a buff on his W. It's the same low cooldown at all ranks and a better bonus health ratio. His early game really sucks, so here's hoping this gives him more playtime in the jungle. Back at ya, Hoss. Sivir got good since her rework. Damage on multiple targets falls off faster. Ricochet costs more mana. And spell she gets you less mana. It'll be okay. Skarner, League's favorite Pokemon, got a small buff on E, but he's still not at where he was before the rework. It's a small band-aid on a very large boo-boo. Skarner, getting there. The one girl wrecking crew did way too much fucking damage for building tanky. So the base damage on Vault Breaker went down a pinch and got a bigger AD ratio to compensate. Her alt's knockback time on secondary targets was cut in half and the distance reduced ever so slightly. Lich Bane. You guys aren't gonna like this one bit. Look, this item is too good on AP carries with low cooldown spells. I mean, there's pretty much no reason not to get this item on most mages like Twisted Fate. So the ratio's been straight up gutted. Now it'll do 75% of your base AD with a 50% AP ratio. Riot will nerf and we will cry. But wait, there's more. To compensate for this ridiculous game-changing modification, the following champions are getting straight up buffed, baby. Diana, Ezreal, Fizz, and Twisted Fate all have higher ratios on some of their abilities to offset this Lich Bane. Madness. Trinket time. Riot realized there wasn't enough early aggression going down in the jungle. Now, you can't use trinkets for a whole two minutes after buying. Last but certainly not least, we come to Riggle's Lantern, an item that's probably worse than Atma's Impaler on Teemo. Yeah, it's pretty fucking bad, and they lowered the gold generation. Still a bad item. Everything else in these notes doesn't matter. This is TLDR Patch Notes 4.4, and I'll see you next time. Oh, baby. Yes!